At this point, you probably have finished the storyline of Monster Hunter World Iceborne and you feel a little bit saturated by using the melee weapon and you think you might give the ranged weapon a try or maybe you are having a hard time against monsters such as the Ostra, Kirin, Valhana and you want to give the ranged one a try you are right because ranged weapon will make those monsters your bitch in this video, we will show you the basic, the mechanics on how to use the heavy poker. One of my favorite weapons in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. It is versatile, powerful, makes you feel like a walking tank. But instead of poking the monster, you shoot bullets, explosive bullets. Welcome to our weapon tutorial of the heavy poker. Bow guns are classified basically on its ammo. There are normal bow gun, spread bow gun, pierced bow gun, sticky bow gun, and elemental bow gun. Yes, there are also status ammo, exhaust ammo, and slicing ammo. But their main use is not to damage the monster. They are used to inflict certain status to the monster. Now, with the confusion even further, I highly recommend you to start your Pokemon career by picking the Sticky Pokemon. The pros of using Sticky Pokemon are It is very easy to use. It has no critical range. So as long as the Pokemon is not out of range, the Sticky Ammo will connect and deal fixed damage to the monster. It also doesn't matter whether you hit the monster in the head or in the tail or in the wing, it will deal fixed damage. It works like the shelling of the gun lens, or the impact file of the charge blade. It is affected by the artillery skill. Second, it can also inflict KO status in the monster, as long as you hit the monster in the head. The KO is very useful, especially in multiplayer hunt. And the last but not least, the build is very easy to build. Even with subpar decoration, you can still deal respectable damage with Sticky Pokemon. Now, I highly recommend you to pick the Furious Rajang Heavy Pokemon, the Demon Lord Beast Buster. It is one of the best Sticky Pokemon available in the game. It can also be built as a normal Heavy Pokemon, but not both. If you want to make this Heavy Pokemon as a normal Pokemon, you can check description below, I will leave a link to my build to make this Pokemon as a normal tree heavy Pokemon. As an alternative, you can also use the Sora Magdaros heavy Pokemon. It is better in terms of cluster ammo and status ammo. Now, without further ado, go and craft the Demon Lord Beastbuster in the smithy. The next thing you need to do, go to your equipment info section and check the ammo available for this Pokemon. Take a note at what ammos are available for this Pokemon. As you can see, it also has normal 3 ammo, but we will not use it, as using it will require another whole different build. The ammo we are using for this build are Sticky Tree, Custer Tree, Wyvern Ammo, and Sleep and Paralyze to get 1 or 2 Sleep or paralyze in a hunt. Now go back to the smithy and customize your Pokemon. The custom mod that you will be using are 2 recoil suppressor, 2 reload assist, and 1 shield mod. The recoil suppressor will help reduce the upward movement of your crosshair whenever you shoot a bullet. It will also allow you to fire the Pokemon faster, therefore increasing your DPS. Reload Assist will reduce the amount of time you need to reload your ammo, while the Shield Mode will allow your Pokemon to block incoming attacks. You can also stack 2 or 3 Shield Mode to further reduce the knockback of the incoming attacks from the monster, but it will not reduce the amount of chip damage you receive from monster attack. You will need Guard Skill to reduce the amount of chip damage. For now and for this build, just pick one shield mod. Now I will show you some example builds. 
First one is the budget or very early build that you can use. Razor Sharp Charm is mandatory because it will give you 20% chance to not consume your ammo when you shoot your bullet. It will help you conserve your ammo which is already very limited in a stick kick bow gun. Artillery level 5 will give you a lot of damage boost. Free elements slash ammo up level 3 will increase the Demon Lord Beastbuster sticky ammo clip size from 3 to 4. But if you don't have that decoration, you can skip it altogether. Slugger will increase the KO effect from sticky ammo, but God skill will decrease the amount of cheap damage you receive from monster attack while blocking. If you are not comfortable with God skill level 3, you can sacrifice some Slugger for God level 5. The next is my endgame build for Sticky Heavy Bowgun. It utilizes the Brachidium Armor set to give you Activator level 7 and Artillery level 5. As this is an endgame build, I can assume that you already have the materials to augment for her regen. So you can add big performance skill to increase further your damage. Yes, your Sticky Ammo will reach the cap, but the Cluster and Wyvern will benefit from more attack boost. The third build is for Guiding Land. It utilizes two sets of Brachidium Armor and three sets of Narkakuga. It will give you Agitator level 7 and True Spare Shock, which will give you 30% instead of 20% chance to not use your ammo whenever you fire your gun. It also utilizes the Fortify skill, so you can die twice first whenever you start your guiding line and receive 20% of attack that lasts for 45 minutes. You can also mod your gun with 4 recoil suppressor and 1 shield mod. It will increase the fire rate of your sticky ammo, while your reload for sticky will still be okay. The downside is, the reload time of your status ammo will be terrible, so it's your choice. Now before we go to the training ground to learn the moveset, and before every hunt, whenever you plan to use the sticky bowgun, always try to get the feline bombardier skill. It will increase your damage by a lot. To activate it, select 4 ingredients from the artillery bar, which is the lowest bar from the food selection menu. You can also use your Gome Focha to ensure 100% skill activation. Feline Slugger is also a good skill to increase your KO probability, but I prefer damage over KO. For this section, I will use Sony DS4 as the reference for the button that I will be mentioning. You can translate it for the console of your own. Let's get started. Pressing R2 will bring out your weapon from default position. Pressing triangle will also bring out your weapon whilst reloading it. If the ammo is currently not full, certain situations you do not want to reload, especially if you are about to be attacked by a monster. Your blocking mechanism of your heavy bowgun will only work if you are not shooting or reloading. It will need a brief time before you can block again after a firing or reloading animation. You will also need to face the incoming attack. It has somewhat narrower angle compared to a gun lens or a lens, so if you're hit from the side or even behind, you will still get hit. Holding R2 will make you aim, while pressing R2 will make you fire. Pressing the D-pad button up or down will allow you to select from the available ammo. Pressing circle will load your weapon with a special ammo. For this HPG, you will get the Wyvern Snipe special ammo. It acts like a piercing ammo, which pierces the body shape of the monster. The longer the monster, the more damage it will deal. Pressing triangle will reload the selected ammo, while holding triangle will allow you to reload all available ammo which are currently not full. This will take a long animation, so make sure you have a long opening to do so. The next thing that you need to understand is that different ammo might have different reloading speed. As you can see, 
With two reloading mod, this will be our reloading speed for each ammo. So if you want to reload your cluster level 3 ammo, make sure you have a lot of window. Otherwise, you might get hit before you finish reloading. You can also use the jumping reload animation. This will reduce the amount of time you need to reload your particularly slow reloading ammo, such as cluster 3. I think that should cover it for the basic movement guide for the heavy bow gun. As you can see, this is relatively simple compared to Swordmaster or melee weapon. But the main core of using heavy bow gun or light bow gun is the management of ammunition. Let's recall again that in this build, we will be using only the sticky tree, cluster tree, and wyvern ammo as the main source of damage. The problem is, you can only bring a maximum of 9 sticky tree ammo, 3 cluster tree ammo, and 5 wyvern ammo in total. This won't be enough to kill even master rank dodogama, so it is mandatory to bring the materials to craft them. For sticky tree, bring a maximum of 9 sticky 1 ammo, but never use them to attack monster, remember, just for crafting. Then bring a maximum of 80 gunpowder level 3. Take note that each sticky one will be crafted into 2 sticky 3 ammo. And of course, bring a maximum of 30 plus nuts. For cluster ammo, bring a maximum of 3 cluster 1 ammo. Then bring 5 bomb berries. You will be sharing the gunpowder with the sticky. But don't worry, it should be sufficient. For Wyvern, bring a maximum of 5 Dragon Strike Nuts. After all is said and done for your item, customize your radial menu to craft Sticky 1, Sticky 3, Cluster 1, Cluster 3, and Wyvern Ammo. Then choose Craft All. Lastly, don't forget to save your item set and radial menu in the storage, so you can load it for later use with ease. For footnote, as I said previously, Every sticky 1 ammo is crafted into 2 pieces of sticky 3 ammo. Therefore, avoid crafting while your ammo is on even number. For example, if you have 4 sticky 3 ammo left, and you craft 4 sticky 3, the system will use 3 sticky 1 ammo and produce 6 sticky 3 in total, even if your max sticky is 9. Therefore, 1 sticky 3 will go to waste. As you can see, because Blast Nut is the main ingredient for Sticky Tree Ammo, you will need a shit ton of them, and you cannot buy them from the store. Therefore, you have to farm them from the Botany Research Center. From now on, keep farming Blast Nuts, as you will need plenty of them, Mike Seed for your buff, Dragon Strike Nut and Bomberry for occasional use. After all of these are done, you can start farming Jewel with ease, or boost your master rank. The Sticky Pokemon is also quite useful in Curve Terrat Hunt or Savage Siege. It is an all-rounder that you can use in almost every hunt. I love to use Sticky Pokemon whenever I came home from work and want a stress-free hunt and just roll with it. This weapon is awesome. I think that will conclude this HPG weapon tutorial. If you have any question, please don't be shy to drop in the comment section below. We will happily answer in the best of our ability. If you like our content, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel as we make this kind of video all the time.